Congratulations on your interest in the rollover simulator. Developed by engineer Frank Peterson and Lakewood Manufacturing, you've just made a huge contribution to safety as you dramatically demonstrate how seat belt usage can save thousands of lives every year and the grim and often deadly consequences that can happen without seat belts. It's the very reason that Frank Peterson has been building these remarkable units since 1990. In states where they've used the rollover simulator for demonstrations, we've seen an increase in seat belt usage. So if you're ready to get started, here are some tips on how to best use your rollover simulator. First, the setup. The rollover should be disconnected from the tow vehicle on level ground and the chocks put under the wheels. Then move to the rear of the rollover. Before the stabilizer bars are removed, the brakes should be locked in the locked position. Make sure to use the safety pins to secure the stabilizer bars in place. In one of the many large storage compartments, you'll find a power cord to plug into generator power or external power. Next, remove the generator from the rear compartment. In fact, it's important to always remove the generator and roll it out away from the rollover any time you're in operation. Even if you're plugged into external power, that's to keep everyone safe and cut down on the possibility of a fire or explosion if any gasoline fumes were to come in contact with electricity. So again, always roll out the generator when you set up the rollover. Now you're ready to load in the crash dummies. Make sure both doors are securely latched. Then move to the left rear side where the controls are. Turn the main power switch on. The demonstration works better with the cab tilted in this position and then apply the clutch. Yes, the rollover gives you multiple demonstration options. You can do this demonstration in two ways. One, you can run it with the dummies with the seat belt on and show how the dummy stays in and then remove the seat belt to show how they're thrown out. When you want to stop the machine, you should slowly move the brake lever over and then into the lock position. When the demonstration's over, prepare the rollover again for travel. Unplug the power cord and strap the generator securely back in its compartment. Pull out the pins and fold the stabilizer bars back against the sides and secure them in place with the crank handle. When stored or traveling, the lever should be in the neutral position and not locked. Remove the wheel chocks and hitch up. Thank you and congratulations for choosing the rollover simulator. You can know the demonstrations that you perform are your own contribution to safety on the roadways. And safety is what this is all about, getting people to wear their seatbelt. A contribution that will pay off over and over again.